Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you how you can read the King James Version of the Bible in your terminal. So, let's get to it. So today, I'm in my real bare metal computer, the one I do all my recording in. I'm in Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. So what I'm going to do is go to Firefox. I'm on the Arch Linux website. I'm going to go to the AUR. And I'm going to type in KJV. So there's several ones here. Uh, there's this one. You can click it on. KJV Git. Click it on. And this is the King James Bible, Old New Testament, that you can read in the terminal. Then there's another one, and let's go back. Let's just type it in again, and there's King J V with the Apocrypha. Now this one is the Old and New Testament, and it has the Apocrypha, or what uh, Catholics would call the Deuterocanonical books. So it has Maccabees and some other extra books in it. And this one was posted in Arch Linux, in the AUR by Luke Smith. So those of you who have been watching Linux videos for quite a while, Luke Smith is someone who's been doing Linux videos, I don't know, perhaps uh, five years, six years, I'm not sure exactly. And he also does some videos, sometimes he talks about philosophy in his videos. Anyways, uh, he put this in the AUR so I'm going to close my uh, web browser and I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. Now I'm going to show you the one that Luke Smith put in. So I'm going to just open up my terminal, Xterm, and I'm going to type in KJV Psalm 2 and I'm going to hit enter. And there you have it. Psalm chapter 2 from the Old Testament in the King James Version. Now, of course, uh, Jewish people don't call it the Old Testament, they call it the Tanakh. Uh, sometimes they call it the Torah. But the Old Testament in uh, the Jewish Bible, which is not called the Old Testament, it's divided into three sections. There's Torah, Navim, and Kituvim. So Torah is the first five books of Moses. It means law. Navim is the second section of the Jewish Bible, which means prophets. And Kituvim is the third section of the Jewish Bible, which means writings. But anyways, I'm going off track. <laughs> so this is the uh, King James Bible with the Old New Testament and the Deuterocanonical books. And this is Psalm chapter 2. Now, let's look at a bigger book. So, for instance, Psalm chapter... Uh, 119 is a really long chapter. So let's put that back there. And let's type in 119. So now the way you use this is you use the Vim keys. So for instance, let's say I want to go to the bottom, right? Shift G. Now I'm at the bottom and you can see it's chapter 119, 176 verse. If I want to go back to the top, it would be G. Now, let's say I want to search for a word within this uh, chapter. So, like again, you just use the Vim search keys. Slash. Uh, let's type in law. There it is up there. See it right here? Let's do hit the end for next. It's going to take you to the next time the word law is mentioned. And you can see it's up here and you can see it's down here. Let's go again. There it is again. Now the word law is mentioned throughout this whole chapter. So let's do, uh, let's go back to the top. Now let's say we want to look for the word salvation. Let's see if the word salvation is in there. So you just do a search. Salvation. And there it is right there. In verse 41. Now let's hit the end button for next to see if it's in there again. And there it's in there. It's in verse 
81. It's in verse 123. So you can see right here. And it's in verse 166. Oh, and it's in verse 174. So that is all the places where salvation is mentioned in Psalm 119. And let's quit out of there. Now, let's say you want to look for a particular verse. So let's do KJV, Matthew 6, 30. And there we have it. And let's just move my face. And there it is. Matthew 6, 30. And to get out of there, you quit. Let's say you want to list all the books in the Bible. So you do, uh, let's clear the screen. Let's do KJV dash L. There you go. And it's listing all the books. Okay. Let's say you want help. Let's do KJV H. And it's giving you help. Now let's clear the screen. Let's say I wanted to uh, call up the whole book of Matthew. So you do KJV, M-A-T-T, -T, and that's the whole book. And if I hit uh, the shift G, it takes me to the very end of the book. And if I hit the G, it takes me back to the top of the book. So let's say you're looking for a, a particular word that you know is in a verse, and you know what book it's in, but you don't know where it is. So for instance, let's say we're looking for the word wretched in the book of Romans. So you're going to do KJV. Hit Romans. So now we're in the book of Romans. And if we, and what we're going to do is hit the slash. And we're going to type in wretched. And there it is there. Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? There you go. And that's it. In this video, I showed you where you can get the King James Version of the Bible so it works in the terminal. And I know this is a different kind of uh, video. Still, it's a Linux video, but it's a little different. Not all people are religious. Not all people are Christians. Not all people use the King James Bible. Anyways, I thought I'd do something a little different. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mitch.